Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create an Office 365 E5 trial account. So if you want to learn some practical things on how Office 365 works, uh, Microsoft Intune, Azure Active Directory, I think the best way is to create an Office 365 E3 or E5 account. So for now, right now, I'm going to show you how to create an E5 account. So go to, just go to Google and type Office 365 E5 trial account or E5 trial. Here you will see on the Office 365 E5. So just click on this link and it will take you to this link here. So here we have some options. So we can actually decide to buy the E5, which costs about $35 um, dollars per user a month, or we can actually go for the trial. But I want to actually go for the trial. So let me just click on the free trial. So we like we so for the free trial we need to actually um enter my enter an, an email and just enter some information to microsoft so let me just enter my email and see if i need to create an account so click next so you say well it looks like you need to create a new account let's get you started so i'm going to click set up account so i'm just going to enter my first name I'm a last name, I'm going to enter Johnson. So my business phone is going to ask me for my business phone. I'm just going to enter my business phone. And then my company name is going to ask me for my company name. I'm going to say my company name is Privé ECT. Right, so my company size, I'll just put just for now, let me just put like um, two to four people because it's a trial. And my country is going to be actually Belgium. So let's click next. And here it says that uh, don't but please rem remember that if you enter your information because you need to enter your your the right telephone number because if you enter a wrong telephone number they are going to send you a test message to verify a code so uh, or, the, or, the, or they can as well give you a call just for verification to make sure that you didn't enter the wrong number so let me just try to send uh, let them send me a verification code i'll just click send verification code and here see my the code has been sent to me so indeed, a verification code was sent to me. I'm going to enter the verification code 7 and click verify. And here you can see that it says the verification was successful. So now I need to type actually an email account I want to use. So let me just try to use some, let me just try to see if I'm going to use like Kelvin um, 4 and see, let me check the availability of this account. So Kelvin 4 is not available. Kelvin, let me just Kelvin 4 and see if this is available. Here it says, well, this is available. So I'm going to click next. So right now it's going to say, well, this is the um, account I'll be using right now, which is my name, and at Kelvin Bell 4 point on Microsoft. Com. So that's going to be a trial, my, my trial account. But at the same time, I'm going to actually link um, a new account to this um, the, this domain. So for now, I think this is just okay. I'm just going to leave it like this. So I'm going to enter a password. Then let me confirm the password. And of course, um, I would like to information. I don't want that. I will just click sign up now. So when I click sign up, so my account will be created. So here you can see it says that my account has been, you are all set, my account has been created. So I can just get, click go to setup or I can decide to manage my subscription if i click on my subscription let's see it's going to take me to the microsoft 365 admin center or i can decide to just click go to setup and it will, it will as well take me to the microsoft admin center and here you can see here it's just asking me but i'm going to click cancel and here we see we have the information right now so when i click show all it's going to show me here you can see the office 365 E5. Um, I'm using a trial version right now, and my trial version is going to expire on the 10th of June. 
10th of June. So this is actually just a one month trial. And you see, here I have about 25 license, which is available. The one has been assigned already. So I'm left with just 24. So if I decide to actually buy in the future, I can decide to buy now. But for now, I'm just going to go with this um, extended trial. And here we have other options like the users. Let me just click on my active users here. You can see for right for now, we don't have any users. They are just the only users we have, which is the Kelvin Johnson. And you can see the user's name is here. And the Office 365 E5 license has, was assigned to this account automatically. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new account and assign Office 365 license to that account. But for now, and that, that, that's going to be a different video. So this video is just to show you how to create an Office 365 E5 um, trial account. Thank you very much for watching my video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT-related video. Thank you a lot for taking your time to watch my video. And if you think this video has been of, of any help to you, please don't forget to give me a like and a thumb up for taking my time to create this video. Thank you and goodbye.